Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Bold and the Beautiful Bank. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Bold and Beautiful's Thope implosion may mark the end of an altogether different couple. The ripple effect is large and in charge on the bold and the beautiful this week, as the fallout from Hope's rejection of Thomas' proposal continues to intensify and spread. It might even make a casualty of another couple. Bold and beautiful and hallmark faves throw sparks in a new Christmas romance. In the episode airing on March 26, Ridge, as if it's any of his business, demands answers from Hope. Cut to Thomas being embarrassed as hell that Daddy sees fit to fight his battles for him. At the same time, Brooke, as if she should have to, defends her daughter. Now, we know that Ridge and Brooke are now and forever considered destiny. The Y is included in their photo-filled love story. But it seems to us like if he can't cut her daughter some slack for behaving like a rational human being who doesn't want to get remarried every other day, it just might put the kebosh on their own plans to retie the knot. How? Brooke could argue, am I supposed to pledge my life to a man who hates my child? For that matter, how am I supposed to throw in with a guy who feels that a woman has some obligation to marry a man just because they are together? This isn't the 1950s, bucko. In turn, Ridge could huff that, I can't in good conscience marry a woman who could raise a kid to be so casual with someone else's heart, and then defend that kid breaking that heart. I never thought of you as cruel, Logan. Or, he might add, I never did before. What do you think? Will Bridge overcome this latest obstacle to their happily ever after? Hit the comments and on your way, review the below photo gallery of pics from the Bold and Beautiful Anniversary Party. Bold and Beautiful's Scott Clifton reveals the heartbreaking reason he's sorry he won the 2017 Emmy. It was not worth it. Winning an Emmy is a pretty darn big deal. And back when Scott Clifton won for his work, as the bold and the beautiful's Liam in 2017. It was an even bigger deal. That Emmy, you see, made history. But it wasn't quite history that Clifton has been able to fully enjoy. Billy issues a stern warning, and Lily lowers the boom on Daniel and Heather. The actor chatted with General Hospital's Maurice Bernard, Sonny, for his State of Mind blog, and revealed that it was the same year that the young and the restless Christoph Street John was nominated Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for his work as Neil. How can you help this Thanksgiving? Bring them home. I got to do a couple of events with him. Clifton revealed of his fellow CBS star, and I got to talk with him. The year that I'd gotten it, he was nominated, and he and I both had a Younger Actor Emmy and a Supporting Actor Emmy. Dubai Apartments for Sale See Prices Dubai Villa for Sale Clifton had one younger actor in 2011 and supporting in 2013, both for his work as Liam, while Street John had picked up his first on Young and Restless back in 1992 and second in 2008. They'd each picked up wins in two of the three actor categories, and that meant something really special. If one of us won, Clifton explained, Everybody was telling us that we were gonna have this record of the first actor in daytime to have an Emmy in all three categories. Street John, as we know, lost to Clifton in 2017, ceding the record to the bold and beautiful star. He passed away in 2019, and that ended up being his last Emmy nomination. And it had meant a lot to Neil's portrayer. He told me that it was really important to him to win that, Clifton shared quietly of both the outstanding lead Emmy and the record of having won in all three categories. That Emmy is not worth it to me. It's not that he doesn't appreciate it, nor the honor of having clinched the record, but it's bittersweet. And the humble actor insists that a lot of winning comes to down luck and who happened to be submitting that year. It also, he thinks, comes down to how the submission is packaged. Because he saw Street John's performance that year and it was bleeping beautiful. But it was all. I think it was in a hospital. It was so intimate and small and controlled and authentic, and mine was all over the place. But I told a story, and I'm convinced that's the only reason I won. We can assure Clifton that that's not true but can understand how horribly conflicting it must feel after all Street John's passing. In the end, 
Two amazing actors went up against each other, and sadly, they couldn't both win. Take a look at our photo gallery of Dream Emmy nominations for this year's awards. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.